I've often said that I wished people could realize all their dreams and wealth and fame and so that they could see that it's not where you're going to find your sense of completion. I can tell you from experience, the effect you have on others is the most valuable currency there is. How will you serve the world? What do they need that your talent can provide? That's all you have to figure out. Why not take a chance on faith as well? Not religion, but faith. Not hope, but faith. I don't believe in hope. Hope is a beggar. Hope walks through the fire and faith leaps over it. You are ready and able to do beautiful things in this world. As a child, my parents always told me, you could be whatever you want to be. You could do whatever you want to do. But I didn't totally believe it. Yet I went out in the world and I carried myself and I held my head high and I stood there and I looked people in their eyes and I talked to people as if I was deservant of everything that this planet has to offer. Confucius said one time, he who says he can and he who says he can't are both usually right. It's time to change. It's time to walk down another street. What is your dream? I just want to ask you one question. What do you want to be remembered for? I hope you want to be remembered as a grinder. Someone who fights their way through all the things that they go through. Do not give up on your marriage. Do not give up in school. Do not give up on your goals and your dreams. You want to be an athlete. Grind. You want to open up that company, that organization. Grind. Nobody has to convince you to do what you have to do. You wake up early. You stay up late. You will do whatever you have to do to get where you need to go. Who gave me five grand when I was at Michigan State doing my program? I didn't get a, I didn't have no budget. But I didn't need a budget. I had a dream. I didn't need no help. The president never came and said to me, ET, we're gonna help your program for this institution blow up. The president never came and I never quit. I never gave up. Why? Because it wasn't her dream in the first place to take care of a group of kids from the D. It was my dream. It was my goal. I don't expect you to do, I don't expect you to believe in my dream like I believe in my dream. And the problem with some of y'all is you want somebody else to support your dream. It's yours. I don't owe you a dime. It's your dream. If you want it to happen, get your butt up and make it happen. If you want it to happen, rise and grind. The warfare is in your mind. It's not in your checkbook. It's not in your savings account. It's not on your job. The fight that you got to fight is in your mind. There is always someone on your heels. There's always someone with talent. There's always someone hungry to take what you have. So where's that differentiating factor? It's within. It's in your why. If you're number one, you gotta act like you're still number two trying to get there. These people are relentless. You are always replaceable in the office, on your roster spot. And every year I tell you, there's always going to be someone with more ability, with more privilege. So where's your competitive edge? It's up to you to muster it up and revisit your past where you weren't the top dog. Revisit that pain. Check yourself for that hunger and deliver it from the inside out. Outthink them, outsmart them, outwork them. I will not be outworked, period. Well, one of the things about life, you're going to get hurt, you're going to make some mistakes, you're going to fail your way to success. But you've got to be willing to experiment, you've got to be willing to push yourself, you've got to be willing to challenge yourself by putting yourself in a perpetual state of discomfort. It's time to put your best foot forward. It's not about just putting in hours, it's about what are you doing with those hours you're putting in. Stay focused in accomplishing every single goal every single day we're trying to reach a pinnacle point nobody else can give you the effort that you need nobody tells you when you're successful you know when you're successful 
You know if you're putting in enough time to become great. You know when you're good. And there will be times when you feel like giving up. You just got to go one more mile. You got to go one more day. And I guarantee you'll find that motivation that you need. There's something that's built on the inside of you that man cannot give you. Your life, your health, your business, the situation that you're going through, everything that you've been through should push you to your destiny. Today is the day.